Plywood is extremely expensive at the moment and I'm a big believer in using what materials you have available around the workshop to find good uses for them before going out and buying more material. So this video is all about being thrifty with plywood. I had a few offcuts of birch plywood and I wanted to use them to make a cabinet for my office to hold a printer and some stationery. So I spent some time measuring up the pieces that I had so that I could do a 3D drawing of the cabinet that I wanted to build, which is how I begin most projects. The problem was that all of the birch plywood that I had was in varying different thicknesses. I had some 6mm or quarter inch, some 16mm or 5 8 of an inch, some 18mm or 3 quarter inch, and some 25mm or 1 inch. And I just didn't have big enough pieces of the thicknesses that I wanted to use to make a cabinet of the size that I needed. So this is where I decided to get thrifty with my plywood. The first example is for the top and bottom panels of the cabinet. I wanted my cabinet to be pretty long at around 1200 millimeters or roughly four foot and the cabinet is going to be supported by legs at each end. I didn't want to add a center leg because I don't really like the way that that looks so using the one inch thick plywood would be the best option as being so thick it's much less likely to sag over a span of this distance. I had a piece big enough for the bottom panel which is great as it's going to be the most visible panel as in I'll see it every time I open the cabinet and look inside. After ripping it to size at the table saw, I kept the offcut and I'll make use of that shortly. The top panel, however, is going to have a solid wood top added later on, so it's really just the inside of the cabinet that's going to be visible, and unless you're laying on the floor, you're probably never going to see it. So for the top panel, I'm just going to glue on the offcut from the bottom panel onto the edge of a less wide board. Ideally, the face grain on these boards would have been running in the same direction, and that's not the case here, unfortunately, but Unlike solid wood, plywood is a stable material so expansion and contraction isn't going to be an issue and as I mentioned this isn't going to be very visible once the cabinet is assembled. I'm going to use dominoes for the glue up which will help align the boards so that the faces will be nice and flush with one another but biscuits or dowels would be perfect here too. There's so much gluing surface here that you could get away with using glue alone but getting the alignment right would be tricky, especially because glue is slippery and when you start to apply pressure with clamps, things tend to move around. After a few hours and once it's out of the clamps, I can trim the ends to get the panel to the length needed. And then I sand the faces to remove the excess glue and the pencil lines. The next example of plywood thriftiness is going to be for one of the side panels and I wanted to use 18mm plywood for these Again, I had one 18mm board that was big enough, so that can simply be cut to size. For the other side panel though, I'm going to use some of this 6mm plywood which is in rough shape. It's covered in dirt and stains, and even after sanding from 80 up to 120 grit, it still didn't look great. I picked the cleanest face for what will be the outside of the cabinet and I placed that face down on my workbench and added lots of PVA glue and spread it about with a board to get good coverage. I added a second board which I didn't need to sand to the same extent because no one is ever going to see it but I do want the glue to adhere really well. And I did the same again and then a third and final board on top. I spent some time aligning all of the boards and then added clamps around the edges and some heavy weights in the middle. Once the glue is dry, I trimmed the edges to their final size using the track saw and I'm left with a board that is ever so slightly thicker than the actual 18mm panel. It measured about 19.5mm but as you can see here, it looks pretty good once the edges are sanded nice and smooth and that extra millimetre and a half or so of thickness is never going to be noticeable once I've assembled the cabinet and added some solid wood edging to cover the plywood edges. So that's how I got thrifty with my plywood and there'll be a full build video all about the cabinet to follow on my channel. So please do subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel plus get early access to my videos, exclusive content, free project plans and cut lists and a name credit at the end of my videos, you'll find links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership pages in the description box below. Thanks for watching.